Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern Team and Keller Williams back again for another Stern Team Market Minute. Today I want to talk to you about earnest money. So, what is earnest money? It, it is simply a, um, a dollar or a, uh, an amount of money that uh, comes from the buyer to show in earnest their intentions on purchasing a property. Okay? And that is due typically within four days of uh, a uh, purchase contract being accepted. Okay, And so, uh, people often ask me, well, what amount of money do I need for earnest, okay, for earnest money? And typically we say, hey, it's starting at least 1% of the purchase price is a great place to start. So on a $500,000 uh, purchase price, you'd be looking at about $5,000, okay? Now in the market that um, we've been experiencing, typically that, that amount's been higher than 1% because sellers could typically, they were looking for the most serious buyers as they could. Earnest money, the more you put down, is a typical indicator of how serious you are. So, uh, one, a couple of notes here. One, that money is due within four um, days of that contract going under, con or that purchase price going under contract. And so, uh, you got to have that money available. You got to either write a personal check or a cashier's check. So, we know, understand that. Other thing to understand is that that money actually goes towards your down payment. So again, on that $500,000 house, if you've got a $5,000 earnest money check, that actually becomes part of your down payment. So if you were looking at putting 20% 20, 20 down, so that's $40,000, well now you'd have $35,000 due at closing to make that 40. So 35 plus the five is the 40. So uh, a lot of times earnest money isn't understood and quite honestly, some agents don't understand it themselves. We at the Stern team do, and so if you do have any questions about how much earnest money do you need and, and uh, where does that go and, and all that stuff, give us a call. Text or emails, we'd love to help you out. Take care.